Father, this evening, this morning, I want to bring the nation of Kenya into your hands. I want to thank you because you have given the nation of Kenya victory. And I want to thank you because your word will always stand to be true. Thank you because you have been speaking to us that you are going to give us a president in this nation 
and that is what you have done for us. I want to commit this new era into your hands, my Father. I want to commit the church into your hands. I want to commit the nation and the government into your hands. And I want to commit the Kenyans into your hands in the name of Jesus. As we pray for ourselves as Kenyans, as we deal with the bondages that have been bound us for a long time, I am asking you to show us your mercy and command deliverance according to your word in Psalms 44 verse 4 and verses 5. That you are our king, O God. Command deliverances to Jacob. Command deliverances to Jacob this morning, this evening, and deliver us from the nine bondages in Jesus' name. Amen, 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 amen. Congratulations, Kenyans. Congratulations, the nation of Kenya. And congratulations once again, our faith president. May the grace of God rest upon you and your leadership in this government in the name of Jesus. And congratulations to the body of Christ as we enter into our new era of revival in this nation in jesus name amen these are prayers that we have been praying and i can't even forget to congratulate every warrior every intercessor that have stood in the gap with apostle damaris since 2020 until today that every word apostle uh, damaris said in 2020 has come to pass in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. I want us to continue with the seven bondages, but I told you that there are two more bondages that God revealed to me these past few years, and I want to join them and put them as nine bondages. I already have seven that I did in 2014, but since 2020 until today, there are two more that God has given me and I think I'll put them also in my new notes in Jesus' name. Last, last, last Sunday, uh, uh, Tuesday, Sunday, and Monday, because that is when these prayers are aired, we dealt with the first bondage, the bondage of witchcraft caging. And thank you so much for those that have said, ah, I did not know this is what have been fighting me. I did not know that I've been bound for years or months. May God bless you. May God exalt you even in the warfare and help you in Jesus' name. Amen. These prayer points I'm giving you are like water to us. So I'm feeling like I am just in a Sunday school class, but I bless God. Amen. Now we are going to go to the second bondage. And this is the bondage of false accusations. Many people have been falsely accused. Many of us have been falsely accused. One pastor was telling me last week how he was falsely accused in his workplace and he was put to prison for life. But God showed him mercy. When he was in the prison, he would fast, he would pray, and you can imagine in the prison fasting, praying, and bringing many to the Lord, and praying for many, and teaching them the word of God. And finally, God released him. One night, God spoke to him and said, I have set you free. You are a free person. And after one, two, three weeks, the, woman, the man was set free. And he was a man of God. And he is still a man of God. False accusation. Now, when false accusation comes, it comes with the, with the deceit. That is the ninth one I was to teach. It is... It comes with, uh, with the frustration and it comes with deceit. There is no false accusation without the spirit of deceit. And this one in the dream, people will say, you saw, I saw you chasing after me. I saw you, you know, you know, fighting me. I saw you in my dreams, in my visions, you know, fighting me, wanting to kill me. And this is what happens when a ministry is going down. The devil uses false accusation, and apart from false accusation, he combines it with the deceit. You see your pastor looking like a monkey, or a cow, or a snake, 
you know, coming after you, wanting to bite you, and that church just goes down. And people start saying, hey, my pastor is a devil worshiper. I saw her come. I saw him come in form of a rat. In form, I saw him come, steal my money in the house. Even in marriage, this happens. Accusation in marriage. Accusation in marriage. One time, we were sitting with my husband on the dining table. And a lady, I was preaching outside in 2020. And a lady writes a message to my husband and saying, Hi, babe. Us, we don't call ourselves bae or babe. We call ourselves sweetheart. And, you know, and you have forgotten your children since you married that woman. And my husband just looked at it and showed me. And we started laughing. I did not fight. Why? I know him. I know him. That's why I say, know your spouse well. Number two, I have the eyes of the spirit. I don't need to go to his Facebook. I don't need to go enter into his phone. I don't need to enter into his wallet. I don't need to enter into his pockets. I have the eyes of the spirit. And those eyes will direct me correctly. Amen. This is how marriages start to break. Amen. False accusation. I don't know whether you have gone through false accusation, but I've gone through false accusation before I settled in Embu. False accusation. Some people would say I'm 80 years. Others would say I have four children. University. And that is a blessing, by the way. It's a blessing. Some would even say I'm married to seven husbands. You know, they would make up a story. And finally, people saw me and they are like, ah, are you the Damaris we have been hearing? And I'm like, what have you been hearing? We hear you are 80 years. And then somebody's like, ah, so false accusations. Amen. False accusations. And this is what I want us to deal with. You dream being accused. Wake up and disorganize it in the spirit because it will manifest. Always remember that when you dream a dream that is negative, you don't deal with it, it will manifest physically. But if you dream a dream, it can be an alert. God is alerting you what is about to happen and you deal with it before it happens and you will testify. So what is false accusation? False accusation, it is being, it is somebody speaking against you. When you go to Psalms 144, Psalms 144, we are going to look at for Psalms 144. The Bible says in Psalms 144 verse 8 and verses 7, verses 8, let's do verses 8. Whose mouth speak vanity, wickedly, whose mouth people or whose mouth speaks vanity and their right hand is a right hand of falsehood right hand is a right hand of false falsehood somebody can put drugs into your pockets or in your bag or even your car i don't give a lift to just anybody somebody i don't give people my handbags apart from my pa or somebody that i trust somebody can put drugs somebody can steal a phone and put it in, you know, and you get yourself into a problem. Somebody can steal and use your signature and you get your problems. Somebody can use your voice. I've seen people come to Chariots of Fire to collect my voice, to collect my husband's voice so that they can use it in the spirit realm to cause damage and people will talk against us. People will doubt us. So I am an experience. I know what I'm talking about. False accusation. Number two, let's go to Revelation. Lest you say this woman only speaks about, false, about a New Testament. New Testament is also a blessing. Revelation chapter 12. This is accusation. And verses 10. The Bible says, And I heard a loud voice. I heard a loud voice saying, In heaven, how is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his, of his Christ? For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accuses them before our God day and night. He accuses them before God day and night. We will go there. We will use also uh, these other scriptures. I want us to go to Zechariah. Zechariah chapter 5, chapter 4. The Bible is talking about this man, this devil that appeared before, 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 the, before God. 
before the Lord. And the Bible says that this man, when he came before God, he accused, uh, he accused Joshua, Zechariah chapter 3 and verses 1. And he showed me Joshua, the high priest, standing before the angel of the Lord, and Satan standing at his right hand to resist him. I have led these prayers. Satan arrest, uh, resisting you. And the Lord said to Satan, The Lord rebuke you, O Satan. Even the Lord that has chosen Jerusalem rebuke you. Is not this a brand plucked out of the fire? Is this the devil was standing before God to accuse Joshua the priest, to accuse how many times have you been accused? I will not give you the other scriptures, but I'll give you bit by bit. We are going to speak against the power of accusation. And number one prayer, we are going to go against every false tongue that is speaking negative things into our lives and let it be destroyed in Jesus' name. We are going to deal with the tongues that are speaking negative things in our spirit realm before they happen in the physical it has started in the spiritual in jesus name amen repa zuta labadia mareba zuta rabadu zanda labota labadua my father my god i have taught your people to stand with your word and i've spoken to them the second bondage the bondage of accusation Many of us that are praying with me have gone through accusation and it has blocked their way. It has hindered their blessing. My Father, my God, I arrest every tongue that is falsely accusing your people. Remember Azuta Labadia in their offices, O oh God, in their marriages, O oh God, in the nation, Jehovah God, in our county, Jehovah Master. Reba Azuta Labadia Rende lebozi atia badua, my father, my God, every false tongue that is speaking negative things into my life, into the lives of those that are under the influence of my voice, into pia tia bante bosia, every false tongue that is speaking negative things against the nation of Kenya, against the faith the president, against his cabinet, against the revival, against the body of Christ. What are you waiting for? I am commanding fire. I am commanding fire to destroy you in the name of Jesus. To destroy you in the name of Jesus. The tongue of deceit. The tongue of deceit. The tongue of deceit. The tongue of accusation. Rebra Zadabadia. I am not your member. I am not your friend. I am not your friend. I am not in your camp. Woka, poka, teka, taiba, tia, dua, ta, zente, bosia, taiba, dua, remba, baboza, gadia. You will not accuse us anymore. Accusation from our foundation. Reba, zoto, bodua. Accusation from my foundation. Accusation from our foundation. Accusation from the foundation. Reba, zoto, lo, buda. Bandele bendele bedia, zendele bendele bedia, ba do do bodo, ba de de bedia. Find your power, find your person, find your crew, find your family. I am not in your family. I am not in your group. I am not in your leadership. I am not in your group. Today, I am not in your church. You spirit of accusation, you spirit of deceit. I am not your member. I am not your member. I am not from your clan. I am not from your family. Rabro Satabadia. Laiba Tua Dia Da. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Roko Doko Bada Bado Bandia Bozende Bosia. Reko Toko Bakadia. Reke Teke Bakadia. Pando Do Baradia. Zende Rebozia Tia Badua. Reke Teke Bakadia. Kwa rai batu alia taibada paroko toko paroko toko I confront you this morning I confront you this evening spirit of accusation I confront you this morning I confront you this evening I confront you this afternoon under the grace of Apostle Damaris Mareba Zadabua 
kayaka lo kalabadia kayaka lo kalabadia zende boza gadia pai paru atia dabua reke toko bakadua zende de bosi atia badua kai koka kata find your number find your place find your place find your location the deepest pit in the name of jesus mareba zoto bodua ba de de bedi badabia i am not your member i am not your daughter i am not your son my father pastor johnson suleman my mother dr lesley johnson suleman is my mother apostle damaris is my mother pa koko kotoa pa koko tokoa pa koko tokoa in Jesus name we pray. Amen. The second prayer we are going to pray. We are going to go to Genesis chapter 11. We are going to command confusion to the spirit of accusation. When they try to accuse you, let them speak good about you. Amen. When they try to accuse you, let them speak good about you. Genesis chapter 11. Glory be to God. The Bible says in verses 1, but there are those that we are going to put down. In fact, I will not read all of it because this is when they were building the Tower of Babel. The Bible says they were of one mind. They were of one mind and they were able to build. And then God came down to see what men were doing. God always comes down to see what you are doing. And the Bible says that he saw what they are doing. In verses 7, the Bible says, Go to, let us go down, and there confound their language, or confuse their language, that they may not understand one another's speech. They were speaking one language. They were speaking one language. They were saying, bring that, that brook or brick. Bring the, the, bring the sand. Bring water. They could understand one another. But Jehovah God confused their unity. And they we are given different languages. One we are saying they have motogiosio. Another one they say let the yokamba. Mungini anasema bring that rope. But they we are not understanding one another. They we are confused. The Bible says in verse eight. So the Lord scattered them abroad from there for up, from there upon the face of all the earth, and they left off to build the city. Amen. I think I should try and look at this and see what happened. Genesis chapter 11, verses 8. Let me see how it goes. Verses 8. Let me see. The Bible says, aha, verses, <laughs> this Bible is good. Okay, chapter 11. I'm in chapter 12. Chapter 11 and verses, aha, verses 8. Verses 8. Allow me to have it. Now, the Bible says in verses 8, God took one look and said, our people one language, why this is only the first step, not telling what they will come up with next. They will stop at nothing. They will stop at nothing. Come, we'll go down and gamble their speech so they won't understand each other. And they, then God scattered them from there all over the world and they had to quit building the city. They had to quit building the city. We are going to confuse them. Amen. We are going to tell the Lord, command confusion to every false accuser and every accusation to be scattered against our lives in Jesus' name. Reba zoto robota. Mareba zete rebedia. Shendele bende rebodua. Repropo zata badua. Zende rebende rebedi. Zondo lobuta rabadia. Reko toko bakadia. Zende rebende rebedia. My Father, my God, send fire, send confusion from heaven. Confuse my accusers, confuse my accusers, confuse the accusers of the body of Christ, confuse the accusers in our foundation, confuse our kaiko kakatua, keko kopa takadia, confuse our accusers in our businesses, in our marriages, mara bata la boda, zendele bendele bedia. Repo zoto robodua, ba de de bedia, confuse them Jehovah go, ma da 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 ba da, haya tota proza tai batia da, send confusion to our accusers, send confusion, kai kayaka laboa, 
send confusion, send confusion to the accusation in our foundation. Let the accusing power in our foundation be accused, be a kaikoka, be confused. Marabaza, retereposia, rendelebezi, taba taba, zendeboza, reketeka, rekotoka, matete peti, matete peti. Let them quit from accusation. Let them quit from accusation. As lasai katapa zota proza tai batua. As they open their mouth to accuse me falsely, to accuse the nation of Kenya falsely, to accuse the land falsely, to accuse revival falsely. My father, my God, let them be scattered. Let them be confused. Ma rekoto ko pa rekete kia ma reba zataba zendele boza gadia mendele boza dabadia zendele boza dabadia rendele boza dabadia rendele boza dabadia rete 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 repo rakata zendele bendele bedia zendele bendele bedia in Jesus name we have only two minutes. We are going to tell the Lord to anoint us, to outsmart our accusers. Amen. That when they accuse you, what you say, or when you enter into a place they have accused you, people will be like, huh? Is it true that this is what was being spoken about her? I have seen that work in my life. We are going to tell the Lord, anoint me to outsmart my accusers in Jesus' name. My Father, my God, anoint us. To outsmart our accusers. Anoint us. To outsmart our accusers. Anoint us. To outsmart our accusers. My Father, my God. Anoint our lives. Anoint our families. Anoint our children. Anoint our ministries. Anoint the revival. Anoint the nation of Kenya. Anoint, oh, katabatia, marepo zoto robodua. Anoint us to outsmart our enemies. Anoint us to outsmart our enemies. Anoint us to outsmart our enemies. In Jesus' name, amen. Please use that number to send your tithe, your offering, your sacrifice. We have an account number there, Cooperative Bank. And uh, you look at the details there, 400222. Amen. And then you will go to 173. You will get to others, the others, 9983. Hash. When you are sending tithe through the Cooperative Bank, write tithe after hash. If it is partnership, after hash, partner. If it is sacrifice, after hash, sacrifice. Because there is a way I organize my finances. The tithes, I have to give tithes of tithes. If it is sacrifice, I have to give tithes of tithes. And the partnership goes direct to the program. Amen. You can use my number there, 0746-553-997 to send prayers and also support. And God will bless you. Father, in Jesus' name, I want to bless the people in this nation. I pray that you are going to give us grace to step into our destiny, even as our faith president has kicked off his destiny and the revival in this nation. I want to hide every one of us in the blood of Jesus. And Father, I'll still continue speaking to the nation of Kenya that there are drops that are falling of, 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 of violence that we need to arrest in the spirit realm. Bless their offerings. Bless them in Jesus' name. Always remember that where there is a prophet, there is a testimony. And by the hand of Apostle Damaris, signs and wonders and miracles are your portion today. Please maintain peace. Pray peace. Spread peace. Preach peace in Jesus' name. Amen. <music>